good evening po everyone. So uh, welcome to our training for tonight and that will be all about Kaiser. Okay, so Kaiser training. So yeah, uh, let me share the screen first. All right, so yeah, so welcome to our training. So uh, Kaiser International, so the first name in healthcare. So before we start, let me introduce myself first. So uh, my name is Luis Antonio Antonio. Okay, you, you can also call me Coach Aries. I'm one of the senior marketing directors here in a international marketing group. So uh, I've been part of the company since uh, November 2018. Yeah, so, uh, okay, so yeah. So today we will be talking about itong Kaiser Healthcare po natin for tonight. Okay. Okay. Sweet lang po. <laughs> okay. So so ito po muna, no? uh, let's have the, the introduction about Kaiser. No? So Kaiser is duly accredited with the Department of Health or DOH. So this company is likewise registered with the Securities and Exchange Commission or also known as SEC on June 8, 2004 as, uh, as a healthcare provider with an authorized capital stock of 160 million pesos. So nakikita natin, so ga gaano ba ka-legit si uh, Kaiser International Health Group? So meron po naman siyang lisensya from the Insurance Commission. So pang number 17 po yan, okay? So sana po nakikita nyo dyan na sa inyong screen, okay? With the license number HMO-2017-04-R. Okay, so yan, so si Kaiser, Kaiser International Health Group as well is a uh, Siya rin po ang uh, healthcare provider po ng mga parts ng ating government. So uh, kasama po dyan ang Supreme Court, ang House of the Representatives, and the Department of Agrarian Reform. So si Kaiser, okay, Kaiser Board of Directors are CISOD expert in the medical field services and in the healthcare industry with its president and medical director, Dr. Lea Uy. YOLO, so assess, a seasoned uh, HMO executive and prominent doctor. So outstanding, Tomasian. So uh, galing po siya sa University of Santo Tomas. So outstanding, Tomasian of po siya sa Department of Medicine. Ito lamang pong 2019. So ito po si Ms. Lea YOLO. Ayan. So uh, she's also uh, attending uh, our conventions po sa International Marketing Group dahil nga Partners po tayo kay Kaiser. So, of course, uh, visible din po ang mga executives din ng Kaiser. Alright, so syempre kilalang kilala natin yan. No? So, siya lang, siya lang naman si Ms. Sharon Coneta Pangilinan, ang ating ambassadress uh, sa ating uh, Kaiser Healthcare, Kaiser International. Okay? So, balikan lang po natin yung uh, ating... Uh, nakaraang topics before uh, kung kayo man po ay nakapag uh, nakapag-attend uh, nakapag na po ng ating Building Your Future seminar. So, medyo babalik lang tayo ng konti, no? So, we'll be talking about the Solid Financial Foundation. Let's have a review. Okay? So, as you see, so, kung natatanda niyo pa po, ito yung talaga sinusunod natin here in IMG. So, as you see, meron po tayong building blocks. So, from the ground to up. So, we build our finances from ground to up. So increasing cash flow, healthcare fund, life insurance, eliminating debt, emergency fund, and investment. Okay, so as we know, Kaiser answers three major financial needs. That is the reason why uh, nagkaroon po ng partnership ang IMG and Kaiser because si, um, parehas po ng layunin si Kaiser and IMG basically. So as you know, nakikita nyo naman, talagang uh, lumalapat po yung layunin nila. No? So, nasasagot yung healthcare fund and even the life insurance and even the investment. So, that is why uh, Kaiser and IMG are partners. Okay. So, balik lang po tayo ulit. No? So, uh, you should consider your healthcare and protection as a priority. So, bakit? So, even if you save a few hundred pesos a month but have no healthcare and life insurance, it will not take you far, okay? 
Okay. So, uh -huh. so when you get sick, disabled, or die suddenly, your savings won't last very long. So, alam naman natin na pag inuna natin, let's say yung investment, no? So, inuna natin investment kahit sa ano pang mga... Uh, mga insurance kang I mean, mga insurance or healthcare fund pag in, siguro pag inuna natin investment it will not really take you far kung say for example ma magkaroon na ma, may mangyari man sa yung masama or even na uh, mamatay man mismo ang pal ang talagang um, merong perang yan so let's say for example you have like at least 100,000 and then na uh, pumawala ka paano na lamang ang anak mo so i mean Let's have that 100,000. Gaano ba kalayo ang mararating ng 100,000 mo? But if you're gonna have like at least life insurance or healthcare fund, at least, di ba, makakatulong, may ibsan yung uh, paghihirap ng iyong pamilya. So getting long-term healthcare and life insurance are the best investment. Okay? So importance of having the right healthcare. So a lot of sick people die not because they're no medicine or treatment available, but because they don't have money to pay for these costs. Kung tutuusin, meron namang gamot. Diba? Meron namang treatment para sa mga sakit. But the problem is, meron ba tayong pangbayad para sa treatment, para dun sa gamot na iyon? So, syempre, as a, of course, as part of IMG members, we, it's our responsibility to have our healthcare fund. Diba? So, Yun ang dapat inuuna natin, no? To have our health care. Prioritize our health. Yan. So, kaya here in IMG, mas inuuna natin ang ating health. Okay. So, I we have a graph here. So, as you can see, meron dyan mga stages, no? So, meron dyan number one, two, and three. So, number one, of course, that's the school years until the age of 21. So, hindi pa naman tayo dyan na nag-work, basically. So, uh, from the age 21 hanggang 60 years old, that is our productive year. So, of course, yung itong years na yun ay nagtatrabaho na. Talagang uh, pustusan ng trabaho dyan, no? And we know from that productive years, from that 21 to 60 years old, we actually have our free health care from our companies. Lalal na sa mga nagtatrabaho, no? So, yung mga... La, uh, sa mga nasa offices or even uh, sa ibang uh, ibang companies, meron talaga yung free healthcare. Here in the UAE, meron tayo yan, no? So, uh, even siguro din naman sa, sa Pilipinas, they also have their free healthcare. But the the problem is, after ba nitong stage 3 na to, and that is the retirement, okay, dun naman, kumbaga, pagkatapos ng trabaho, pagkatapos ng productive years, Okay. So, how about the 60 beyond? So, anong nangyayari? Wala tayong healthcare coverage. Kadalasan sa mga Pilipino, nagtrabaho na sa napakatagal na panahon, wala naman na silang coverage. Because, usually, ang iniisip, uh, nandyan ang gobyerno, diba? andyan ang anak, andyan ang uh, kahit ano-anong mga <laughs> pwedeng sumuporta sa kanila. But of course, from this time, I mean, uh, from this uh, kumbaga itong panahon na to kailangan pala mas napag-iigihan natin na mayroon pala tayo dapat na retirement fund at mayroon dapat tayong healthcare fund for that. Okay? So of course, alam naman natin for that free healthcare from our company, kayang-kayang ma-provide yan even in the very good room, very good services. But after that, like from 60 beyond, of course, Diba? Kung hindi natin mapaghanda ng healthcare, dito tayo, babaks dito tayo babagsak. And of course, ayaw natin yan. We don't want in this situation. Eh, paano na lamang kung COVID-19 yan? Paano na lamang kung uh, pandemia yan? Diba? So, ang napakahirap if you are in this situation. Alright. So, Kaiser International Health Group Incorporated offers a one-of-a-kind HMO product, the ultimate Kaiser Health Builder. So, a 7-year paying and 13-year waiting plan. So, ito po yung magiging topic natin for, for today, for tonight. So, the Ultimate Kaiser Health Builder. So, designed to provide health care beyond that of an HMO, allows individuals to save during employment while still being covered by companies' health plan. Say, for example, sa akin, no? So, I'm actually covered by uh, Kaiser International, di ba? So uh, I'm still here abroad. We're still here abroad, but 
pinaghahandaan na natin yung healthcare natin uh, para nang sa ganun, matapos man trabaho ko rito here in Dubai, pag uwi ko ng Pilipinas, I will still have the Kaiser. So, yun yung, yun yung dapat natin na paghahandaan. Diba? Save during employment. Geared to address the long-term healthcare needs of individuals, especially after employment and retirement years. And of course, securing a more comfortable elderly life. Diba? So, of course, we want a comfortable elderly life. We don't want to uh, umasa sa ibang tao. We should actually do it ourselves, right? We have to do it yourself. Okay, so this, uh, so for tonight, we'll be talking about Ultimate Kaiser Health Builder. Okay, so as you can see, 720. So seven year saving plan to 20 years. Okay, so uh, for today, we'll be, uh, for the purpose, for example, we'll be using the K100. Marami po tayong plans uh, for uh, Kaiser, but uh, for tonight, we'll be using the K100, this, uh, this plan, okay? Okay, as we know, we, uh, we also have our payment methods. So, uh, we also have our spot cash, okay? Annual installment, okay? So, uh, semi-annual, quarterly, and monthly, okay? So, meron tayong limang options how to pay. All right, so let's talk about during ac accumulation or saving period. So that is the first seventh year. So ano nga ba yung mga benefits na matatanggap natin from that first to seventh years? Okay, unang-una na po dyan yung free annual physical examination. So to be administered by, a, by an accredited clinic, okay? So PE coverage, that's basic five. So ano ba yung basic five na yon? So that will be physical examination, chest x-ray, routine phycalysis, routine urinalysis, and complete blood count. So for 35 years old and above, so libre na po yung uh, ECG for members, and pap smear naman po para sa mga female members and 35 years old or as required. Number two, dental benefits. So, uh, pwede, pwede yan, no? So, we also have unlimited dental checkups, unlimited simple tooth extraction, once a year free dental prophylaxis, ano naman yun, no? Yung uh, papalinis ng ipin, no? So, uh, resumentation of jacket, crowns, inlays, onlays, and minor adjustment of dentures. All right, number three, so basic medical health benefits. So, ito naman po yung mga accredited, okay, mga physician's fee, specialist fee, surgeon's fee, anesthesiologist fee, okay, and even the operating room, okay, covered po din yan. And then hospital intensive care, okay, uh, that will be covered as well. Number four, member's choice of room and board up to 1,000 pesos per day. Number five, yearly medical benefit limit. So, ito po yung sinasabi natin na annual benefit limit up to 60,000 per year. So, ito pong 60,000 per year ay naka-align po yan sa K100 plan. So, it will still depend po sa plan na kukuhanin mo. So, that's 60,000 per year after full payment of the first year of the total premium. So, note, the above provisions 1, 2, and 3 can be availed of after full payment of the first year of the total premium. So, ibig sabihin, kailangan nabayaran mo ng first year, okay, first year ng payment, bago po natin mag magamit yung uh, uh, itong ating uh, how can I say, itong ating uh, benefit, okay? So, kung nabayaran na po yan ng annual, so, wala na pong problema, you can avail it, but uh, if you're doing monthly or quarterly, so, kailangan po muna matapos ang one year, then you can avail it, Okay? Alright, so as we know, so uh, ito ang ating Kaiser. So meron tayong uh, term life insurance basically. So meron tong insurance coverage. So as you can see, from the, from the 20 years, okay, from the 20 years, you will be covered for 20 years or until age of 75, okay? As you can see, meron po tayong long-term care benefit and long-term care bonus. Paano naman to? Long-term care benefit, that will be 100,000 based po yan sa plan na kinuha mo. That's K100. So, of course, 
100 stands for 100,000. So guaranteed, you will have 100,000 pesos. Okay? So if that is uh, for t term life insurance, okay? Whenever the, the policy holder uh, dies, okay? Long term, long term care bonus that will be three hundred fifty thousand. San naman po nakuha tong three hundred fifty thousand nato. So three hundred fifty thousand from the in the event na hindi po uh, nagamit from the first year hanggang seventh years ang annual benefit limit. Okay, from the K one hundred, the sixty thousand. Kung hindi po nagamit yan every year yung uh, seven years na yan. So, 85% ng yung contract price, the contract price of uh, K100 is 411,000. So, 85% of it, that's 350,000. Okay? So, yun po ang maibibigay na long-term care bonus. Okay? For a total of 450,000 pesos. If this is natural debt, I, I hope this, uh, this is clear to you guys. Okay? Paano naman po kung accidental death? Paano naman po kung, uh, kung namatay through accident? Okay? Double po yan. So, times 2, that will be 450,000 as well. So, for a total of 900,000 pesos. Alright. So, let's talk about this one. So, term life insurance coverage. So, if the member dies before attaining the age of 75 years, and prior to this entitlement to the long-term care benefit as indicated in the Schedule of Benefit or SOB, his beneficiary shall be entitled to an, account, uh, to, to an amount equal to the sum of long-term care benefit and long-term care bonus upon approval of the claim by the insurance company. All right, how about accidental death? Ito nga yung sinasabi natin kung paano nalaman kung uh, na accidente, okay? Accidental death or dismemberment. Paano naman kung hindi hindi nga namatay but uh, may nangyari, kumbaga naputulan ng kamay, naputulan ng paa. So, meron din pong uh, coverage yan, no? So, should the member suffer directly and independently of all other causes, any bodily injury affected solely through external, violent, and accidental mean occurring prior to the member's 75th, 75th birthday and prior to the entitlement to the long-term care benefit, which result in any of the speci specified losses within 180 days after the accident causing the injury. The insurance company will pay the following. So, yan po yan, na. So, lost of both hands, 100%. So, lo, ayan, both feet, 100 So, meron din po yung classification kung, uh, kung talaga entitled po talaga. No? Alright. So, how about waiver of installment due to debt or credit life? So, ibig sabihin, let's say kung hindi pa tapos yung pagbabayad ng, uh, ng plan, but uh, namatay na po si policy holder, what happens? If the member during the accumulation period and before exceeding the age of 75, the proceeds of the credit life insurance shall be applied to the balance of this contract price upon approval of the claim by the insurance company, if any. The difference, if any, shall be paid to this designated beneficiary. So, ibig sabihin po, si beneficiary, okay, so, mamatay man po, si uh, policyholder, wala na pong babayaran si beneficiary. Ang mangyari na lamang po kung ano man po ang balance, okay, from that uh, contact price, kung ano man po ang hindi pa nababayaran ni policyholder, yun na po ang i-cover ng term life insurance. And the difference, yun po ang maibibigay sa ating beneficiary. Okay, say for example, kung uh, six years na po siyang nagbabayad and then namatay po siya on the sixth year, so kung anong po yung uh, one year, na hindi pa nababayaran, yun na po ang i-cover ng term life insurance and then yung the remaining po may bibigay na sa ating beneficiary. I hope that is clear. Number nine, waiver of installment and premiums due to the total and permanent disability. So let's say uh, hindi nga namatay pero uh, kumbaga disabled naman. No? So kumbaga hindi na po kayang uh, mag-produce ng income kasi nga po ay talang disabled na hindi na po maka, siguro hindi na makagala or something. 
Okay? So, uh, disabled na, hindi na po kaya nga mag-produce ng income. So, it means to say, hindi na rin po niya kaya makapag-save, basically. Okay? So, if the member becomes totally disabled during the accumulation period and on or before his or her 75th birthday, thereby preventing him from engaging in any occupation or comp for compensation and profit, is so disabled for life. And such disability continues for at least six months. Take note, that is six months. Kaiser shall waive the payment of each installment becoming due during the life and such disability. However, pending approval of the claim, installments should be paid as they fall due subject to refund upon approval. So, yun po yan, ha? Number 10, Family Assistance Service. So, syempre, marami rin po nag, uh, nagtatanong sa atin, pwede ko po bang ipagamit to sa, sa kapamilya ko? Kumbaga sa, sa anak ko, sa asawa ko. So, pwede naman po. No? Pwede naman po siyang pagamit. But of course, as we always say, uh, Kaiser, uh, Ultimate Kaiser Health Builder is uh, really intended for, for us. For us na mga breadwinners, di ba? So, syempre, it's really a personal. Kung baga, pang sa iyo talaga yan. But, uh, of course, syempre, gusto rin naman natin ma matulungan yung ating pamilya. That's why Kaiser is offering this kind of assistance. Okay? Take note, this is not a, uh, a benefit, but it's only an assistance. Okay, let's uh, let me read this one. So, ano nga ba yung mga dapat na, uh, kung baga, uh, Rules, okay. Mga regulations bago ma, ma, mapagamit itong family assistance na to. So, polish, policy should be in active status and plan should have completed at least one year payment. Okay? So, nominated patient must be an immediate family member of the policy holder or within the first degree on consanguinity. Okay? So, policy holder agrees to avail only of the services of Kaiser's accredited doctors and affiliated network of hospitals. Okay, so still, kailangan na sa accredited doctors pa rin and affiliated network pa rin po. So assistance to be provided by Kaiser shall only be to the extent of the allowable benefits due to the plan on holder, to the plan holder under his policy. So kung ano man po yung may cover nung policy ni uh, ni policy holder yun lang po din yung maiko-cover doon po sa sa patient okay prior to discharge of the nominated patient payment should have been settled to kaiser so kaiser's approval to avail of such assistance must first be obtained by the member and the issuance of LOA will be given so ito ito yung sinasabi natin na note no Please note that this assistance is an accommodation and not considered a benefit. This is not a benefit of the plan. So hence, approval and denial on the ailment solely depends on Kaiser management evaluation. Okay, so accredited hospitals. So we have over 800 accredited hospitals, hospitals, intensive care unit, and operating rooms. So meron po dyan, as you see, pwede nyo rin po siguro screenshot yan. Yan po yung uh, website wherein you can actually check yung mga hospitals na malapit siguro sa inyong place. No? So, uh, say for example, sa amin, sa Olonga po, sa, sa Subic, meron pong medyo malapit dun sa amin. So, I also check that. So, sa inyo rin, I, I guess so, uh, meron din po mga malalapit na uh, os hospital na, na accredited by Kaiser. So we also, uh, Kaiser also has the special extended benefits, so magnetic resonance imaging or MRI, nuclear or radioactive isotope scan, CT scan, dialysis, and blood transfusion and the like. So marami pa po yung iba. All right, so uh, that, uh, that, uh, that is the first to seventh year. Paano naman yung eighth? to 20th year. So, ibig sabihin, tapos na po yung pag-iipon. Diba? Tapos na yung, uh, kumbaga, yung, yung mismong 7 years na pag-iipon. So, how about the extended period? Ano naman nangyayari dun sa perang pinaghirapan mo, no? So, from 8th year to 20th year. So, let's talk about that. 
All right, so here are the benefits. So uh, let me read this one first, and then we'll be talking about yung uh, sa, sa mga susunod po na slide. Okay, so uh, let me read this one first. So long-term care benefit value. So ito po ay LTCBV. So guaranteed health benefits as shown in the schedule of benefits, which can be used at the end of the 20th year as part of the ho hospital benefit limit or HBL until fully utilized or can be converted into cash on the 20th year. Yearly health care hospital benefit limit. Okay, so 10% of the long-term care benefit value earned starting from the end of the accumulation period and every year thereafter up to the 20th year. Long-term care health long-term healthcare experience incentive hospital benefit limit. So approximately 85% of the total membership fees which can be converted into cash or be part of the hospital benefit limit from the 20th year until fully utilized. Again, lifetime network, so lifetime access to over 10,000 doctors, over 800 hospitals, as long as you have the funds available in your health benefits. Okay, so cost fee health benefits and additional yearly healthcare hospital benefits. So it's a benefit other than the YHCBL at the end of the accumulation period and every year thereafter up to the 20th contract year provided that Kaiser's investment earnings is higher than 6% per annum. So, mantakin nyo, no? So, it's 6% per annum. So, mataas. Alright. So, uh, so, here's the graph. So, ito po yung illustration natin, no? So, from the 8th year hanggang 28th year, tapos na po tayo mag-ipon. So, of course, from the 8th year, meron na po yung binibigay na 10% yearly health benefits. So, paano naman po ito? Ibig sabihin, itong 10% na to, so we're still using the K100 plan. So, of course, as we always know, K100 plan stands for 100,000. So, 10% of 100,000, that will be 10,000 pesos. That will be, ayan na po ay guaranteed. So, 10% yearly health benefits from the 8th year, 10,000. So, up to the 20th year po iyan. Okay? Ayan. So, Meron din po tayo, of course, the accumulated health benefits. Paano naman po ang nangyari dito? If ever, yung 10,000 po, hindi po natin ginamit yan. Kumbaga, yung allowance na yan, hindi natin ginamit yan na pampagamot. May stay lang po natin dyan. mag accumulate pa po rin yan ng uh, at least 10%. Okay, yung 10,000 10, pesos na yan, mag accumulate pa rin po yan ng 10%. So, of course, we know... 10% of 10,000, that will be 1,000. Ia-add po yan to the other year. Kung baga, the second year po. Uh, I mean, uh, the ninth year po, no? So, of course, that will be 21,000. So, dira-diretso po yan. Up to the 28th year, so total will be 269,750. And we also have the yearly health bonus. Paano na naman po ito nakukuha? So, ibig sabihin, uh, ito pong yearly health bonus na po ay nagsisimula po yan from the second year. Dahil po, ang pera natin, ang uh, acting savings plan, okay, kumikita po yan through dividends, okay, from the second year. Okay, so uh, of course, from the second year up to the eighth year, ito na po yung pre-computed na amount, okay, from the K100 plan. So that's 32,981. Dere-derecho din po yan from the 9th year hanggang 20th year. And of course, as also the same, accumulated health bonus, also 10%. So, uh, yun na po yung nadadagdag. No? Ayan. So, for a total of 400... Okay. So, uh, let me have the correction for the yearly health bonus. It actually depends po, do, yung po sa ating, uh, sa ating uh, price. Kumbaga, it, it actually... Uh, we, uh, they actually invest it, so it still depends on the ceiling and uh, the flooring po, okay, ng ating, uh, ng ating uh, investment, okay? So, through the dividend, so uh, yan po yung lumalabas, though, that is the 446,000 pesos, okay? So, long-term care benefit, so upon maturity, that's 100,000, kanina po yan, kumbaga wala naman po nangyari sa atin, so that 
it will be guaranteed po yan ang 100,000 na yan. And then of course, long-term care bonus. So upon maturity, if no claim during uh, saving period, ito po yung kaninang uh, sinasabi natin na 85% of the contract price if hindi ka po kumuha na uh, hindi, hindi po nagamit yung first to seventh year na annual benefit limit. So that's 350,000 pesos. So total maturity value, that is 1.1 million at least. Okay? So uh, let's say, uh, kung ikukumpara natin yan, kung tayo po ay nagsisave lamang ng, uh, let's say kung uh, makuha natin itong 1.1 na to in 20 years, kung hindi po natin gagamitin ng, uh, Let's say, walang kind, sir, or talagang ikaw lang po mismo, nag-iipon lang sa sarili mo. Kung baga, you're just striving hard. You're just striving hard to, to earn money, to save money. Okay? So, ikukumpara natin yan, no? Saving 50,000 pesos per year. So, you have to, di ba? You have to save 58,000 pesos per year. Every year, kailangan mo makapag-save ng 58,000 para makuha mo C1.1 million. But here in Kaiser, okay, Ultimate Kaiser Health Builder, you only have to save seven years. Okay, you only have to save seven years. Take note. But uh, from that year, okay, from that after seven years, you just have to wait until the 20th year and you will have 1.1 million. Diba? So that's how financial literacy works, di ba? Yun yun talaga, ayun yung po sinasabi natin na uh, power of compounding interest. Uh, so I, I, I hope you understand that. Okay. Ito pong, uh, of course, we know that extended period, kasama na po dyan ang pre-existing medical condition. Okay? So, uh, ayan po now. Let me read. So, those illnesses, injuries considered to be, ex to be in existence, prior to the effective date of the contract. So any professional advice or treatment was given for such illness or condition. So such illness or condition was in any way evident to the member before the effective date of the contract. So pathogenesis of such illness or condition started whether or not the member is aware of it. So, ayan po. So, pwede niyo siguro ang picture na niyan. So, hindi ko na po babasahin. But these are the following illnesses na makukover po during extended period. Okay? So, ayan. And also, the dreaded diseases. So, uh, kasama na rin po yan. No? Kasama na rin po yan sa mga cover na din ni Kaiser. Okay? And then, the second one. Ayan. So, maski rin po arthritis, kasama rin po siya, lupus, and cancer as well. Alright, so ayun, tapos na po tayo sa ating uh, extended period. So, how about after ng extended period, paano naman po yung, paano naman po mangyayari sa pera natin on the 21st year, di ba? 21st, kasi tapos na yung extended period eh. So, ito na po yun, the long-term care period. Okay, so the 21st year, onwards. Okay. So, long-term care period, uh, as we know, so at the age of 42, kasi uh, pinag-base natin siya at the age of uh, 22, so 20 years, 42, okay? So, as we know, ito na po yung maturity value natin, the 1.1. Ano po ba mga options? Paano po bang gagawin natin dito sa, uh, sa perang to? Okay? So, meron din po tayo mga options dyan. Number one, Continued health benefits with term life insurance. Kung gusto niyo po na may term life insurance mismo, yung inyong, uh, yung inyong uh, plan, you can still have it. You can still continue having the term life insurance. Number two, continued health benefits with yearly increment, annual withdrawal of the yearly increment earned. So, ibig sabihin po, yung kinikita ng pera niyo every year, okay, kinikita ng pera niyo every year, Pwede niya siyang kunin, then you can still have the health benefits. Okay. Mamaya, titingnan natin paano yung pagkakaiba nito sa option 1. Number 3, partial withdrawal up to 50% of the total health benefits. And number 4, full withdrawal of total health benefits. Kasi marami sa atin nagtatanong paano kung uh, gusto natin uh, 
paano po kung uh, hindi naman po ako magre-retire sa Pilipinas? Paano po kung sa ibang bansa po ako magre-retire? I don't want to go to the Philippines uh, retiring. Uh, paano po yung plan na kinuha ko? You can still get it like the full withdrawal of total health benefits. Okay? So, uh, mamaya po pag-uusapan natin paano naman po yung option 4 na yan. So, let's have the option 1, the total health benefits. Okay? Option 1, continued health benefits with term life insurance. Okay? So, uh, let me read the first one first. Uh, okay? So, at the end of extended period, a member enjoys this benefit, which is the sum of all benefits under the Kaiser Premium Health Builder. So, letter A, the first for now, option number one. So, continued term life insurance up to age 80, equivalent at least 50% of the total health benefits, 50% of the total health benefits, but not to exceed 2 million face amount, 2 million pesos face amount, okay? So, coverage on all pre-existing conditions up to the total health benefits. Yan po yun. So, libre ka pa rin na annual physical examination through Kaiser Medical Center Incorporated and or Kaiser Designated Accredited, accredited Clinics. A limited consultation with all branches of clinics in, of Kaiser Medical Center. Access to 500 hospital, 800 clinics, and 10,000 doctors, network of Kaiser. Dental benefits, also uh, libre pa rin yan through our accredited dental service providers. And ito yun, no? please take note of this. So continued health benefits with yearly increment depending on the prevailing market but in no less than 3% per annum. Okay? Less than 3%. So hindi na po bababa yung uh, interest ng less than 3%. So always uh, at least 3% po yung interest ng, perang, uh, ng uh, kinikita ng pera. How about number two? Option number two. So continued health benefits with yearly increment, annual withdrawal of the yearly increment earned. Okay? So annual withdrawal of the yearly increment. So yung kinikita ng pera mo every year, yung uh, total health benefits mo, yung withdrawal po nun, nung annual mo. Okay? Continued term life insurance. You still have the term life insurance up to age 80, but at least 25%. So, mas mababa po doon sa first uh, option. Okay? So, doon po sa first option, 50%, at least 50%. Option 2, 25% po ng total health benefits. But, not to exceed 1 million face amount. Coverage of, on all pre-existing conditions up to the available health benefits balance. Okay? Access to over 500 hospitals, 800 clinics, 10,000 doctors, still the same. Dental benefits as well, meron pa rin yan. Physical examination, meron pa rin yan. And continued health benefits with yearly increment depending on the prevailing market. In no case, less than 3% per annum. Still the same po, yung, mga, yung ibang benefits. But uh, nakaiba lang po, dun po sa 50% and 25% po sa Continued term life insurance. Option number three. So par partial withdrawal up to 50% of the total health benefits. So withdrawal up of up to 50 of the 50% of the total health benefits and continue to enjoy the following benefits but without term life insurance coverage. So ibig sabihin po, itong option three you can still uh, withdraw up to 50% ng kainyong total health benefits pero wala na po kayong term life insurance. Okay? So this option entitles you to the following benefits. Coverage on all pre-existing conditions up to the available health benefits balance. Unlimited consultation with all branches of clinics of Kaiser Medical Center. Access to 500 hospitals, 800 clinics, 10,000 doctors. Dental benefits as well, okay, so mga accredited dental services po, and annual physical examination through Kaiser Medical Center and Kaiser Designated Accredited Clinics, and of course, the 3% annum po na yearly increment, okay, depending po yan sa prevailing market. 
But how about option number four? Ito na po yung sinasabi natin na full withdrawal. Gusto ko nang withdrawin lahat ng total, be total health benefits ko. So full withdrawal of total health benefits, the policy is considered fully available. However, however, should there be no option chosen within 30 days? Okay, so you will be given 30 days po para mag -isip. From the receipt of this letter, option 1 will automatically apply. Okay? Pag isang buwan na po yun, uh, once na po na ba uh, ang 21st year mo, okay, once po uh, na sabi na this is ready the 21st year, so meron ka lang po 30 days para po makapag-isip kung i-withdraw mo na ba lahat or not. Diba? Or else, option po po ang magiging uh, ang pipiliin ni Kaiser for you. Notes. So for withdrawal due to non-medical reason, the term life insurance coverage will automatically be discontinued. Okay? So Kaiser reserves the right to discontinue the health benefits and return all available unused health funds to the member at any time without notice. Okay, so ito po, marami po nagtatanong nito, no? Kasi uh, ako rin po, actually, minsan natanong ko rin to one power training for ng Kaiser. So, saan nga po ba nilalagay? Saan po ba ina-allocate yung funds ni Kaiser? Okay? So, here it is. So, at least 51% of payments made by plan holders automatically goes to a trust fund as required by the government. Required po talaga siya ng ating gobyerno. Kaiser cannot touch this trust fund. It is reserved for the future claims by the plan holders. Kaiser trust funds are managed okay, by two international banks. So, uh, yun po yung sinasabi natin na ING Bank, sa Netherlands po yan, and a Deutsche Bank. So, sa Germany naman po. Okay? And the 49% goes to the investment portion of which is managed by Soldivo funds. Okay? Yun po yung uh, kung saan po nalalagay yung pera. Ayan. So, uh, itong mong, uh, picture na to is actually uh, the schedule of benefits. When you're, once you're already a policy holder of Kaiser, you'll be having the schedule of benefits. Mab uh, makikita po natin yan sa ating uh, portal, sa ating OPMS. Okay. So, uh, meron po yan sa uh, ating... Uh, okay. Yeah, sa ating OPMS, so as you can see, yung schedule of benefits na natin. So, yeah po. But makikita niyo po dyan kung ano yung mga benefits natin. Even the yearly healthcare hospital benefits, makikita din po natin dyan. Ayan. So, yeah po, yung mga benefit description, amount, and the remarks. Okay, ayan. Bill Health. So, uh, alam ko, some of you uh, asking about this, Phil Health, and some of you, galit kan sa kanya, pero uh, discuss lang po natin siya. So, your Phil Health benefit is integrated with Kaiser. So, once admitted, you will be advised to file your Phil Health reimbursement form. The Phil Health reimbursement due shall be deducted from the total hospital bills. Okay? So, Kaiser policy holders without Phil Health me membership shall shoulder and pay the corresponding portion of PhilHealth. Okay? So, ibig sabihin, kung hindi ka po member ng PhilHealth, kayo po ang mga shoulder nung matitira. Nung, uh, kung ano man po ang mababayaan ni Kaiser, yung, po, yung matitira po, kayo na po magbabayad if you're not a member of PhilHealth. Okay. Uh, also, this one, so, the grace period. I know uh, some of you, lalo-lalo lal na po yung mga nagbabayad na po ng monthly or even the, the quarterly. So, some of you might be asking about this, the grace period. So, let's say, hindi ka pa makapagbayad, no? So, uh, we are also having that grace period. So, let me read. So, if payment is made after the grace period, of the contract shall be considered lapsed. However, the owner shall be given a grace period of 30 days or one month to pay the due installment. Benefits may be provided to the member only after the due installment is paid. So, ibig sabihin, so kung uh, 
hindi ka nakapagbayad mismo dun sa due date mo, hindi pa po yung considered lapse. Hindi pa po considered lapse ang iyong policy. So, bibigyan ka pa rin po ni Kaiser ng at least 30 days to pay for that, uh, for that uh, due date. Okay? So, bibigyan ka lang po ng 30 days. So, hindi ka pa po lapse. So, at least, uh, medyo ano pa rin tayo, no? medyo ligtas pa rin. But of course, we're still saying here in IMG na of course, we still have to apply yung ating uh, solid financial foundation. And dyan po, nag, uh, luma, uh, lumalabas na po si emergency fund. Kung hindi man po tayo makapagbayad on time, okay, meron po tayo mahugot which is our emergency fund. Because we know na pag meron po tayo emergency fund, ito po yung sumasalba sa atin. Na hindi, at least hindi napuputol yung ating uh, pagbabayad. Di ba? So, review ulit. 3 to 6 months of your uh, expenses or even your income, okay? Yun din po dapat yung allocation for your emergency fund. Ayan, ito. Paano naman po kung lapse na? Paano naman po kung uh, natigil na talaga ako magbayad? So, meron po tayong tinatawag na reinstatement, okay? So, there are two types para po sa reinstatement. First one is updating, Okay? So, member will pay the premiums due on all the missed months plus the surcharge of 1.5% per month or 8% per annum from the date of each unpaid installment. Say, for example, kung uh, hindi ka po nakapagbayad ng uh, from January hanggang May, so kukwentay lang po natin ilang months. So, from that month, yung kung ano po magkano po ang premium, plus din po yung surcharge no 1.5% from each month po na yun. Okay? Or kung isang taon man yan, that will be the 8%. Okay? And then the second one, redate. Ito naman, uh, ito, marami rin pong gumagawa nito, no? So, member will only pay the premium for the month, but the maturity period will be moved. Okay? Say, for example, Hindi ka pa nakapagbayad ng, uh, let's say, uh, one, one month, let's say, nag-redate ka lang. So, ginawa mo is uh, binayaran mo lang yung uh, May, uh, yung month ng May, okay? But, your uh, maturity period will be moved. So, ibig sabihin ko, ang maturity period mo, kung magbamature yung, yung plan, let's say, ng May 2027, okay? So, mamumove po yan na June 2027 because you move it like at least no one month. Okay? So, ayan. So, reinstatement application form. Ayan. So, meron po yan yung mga requirements natin. So, reinstatement application form and reinstate, reinstatement fee ng 300 pesos. Ayan. You can actually ask the person kung paano po yung reinstatement. Lalo na kung siguro, siguro may mga members tayo na nag, nagsasuffer tayo sa ganito, no? So, ask nyo lang po yung inyong sponsor. Ayan. So, can be done within two years of the first unpaid due date. Okay? So, two years po. At least two years yan. Kung, uh, kung medyo covered ka pa ng at least one, uh, one and a half years, pwede pa rin pong ma-reinstate ang inyong plan. But, the member shall be considered a new applicant subject to pre-existing conditions. And for purposes of contestability of insurance coverage and to any other requirements for a new applicant for membership in fact at that time. So, ibig sabihin, kung matagal, matagal na po yung hindi pa na uh, kubaga, ngayon lang niya binalikan, di ba? So, uh, still, kailangan pa rin po natin mag-comply sa ating uh, sa, sa Kaiser para po mapatunayan natin na we're still okay, hindi tayo, uh, kumbaga, wala tayong pre-existing condition. So, yun po ang hahanapin sa atin, guys, sir, para at least mapagpatuloy po natin ang pagsisave. So, Kaiser will cancel the contract without need of notice to the owner if he fails to reinstate within the prescribed period. Ayan. So, all reinstated plan shall be subjected to the new price. So, ibig sabihin talaga nga, um, mag-iiba pa rin yan. If, say for example, kung 39 yan, kung 39 mo sa kanuha tapos naging 41 ka na, mag-iiba na po yung iyong plan. Okay. So, healthcare value. So, 
the owner may surrender the contract for its cash value stated in the schedule of benefits provided the plan is active for at least a year. Ayan. So, ito, uh, marami, marami rin pong mga nagtatanong regarding this. No? So, transferability of Kaiser Ultimate Health Builder. Paano po ba? Pwede po ba may transfer? Pwede po ba may transfer yung uh, plan ko sa iba? Okay. Is it transferable or can it be assigned? Yes, the benefits under the Kaiser Ultimate Health Builder plan may be transferred or assigned by the member provided that during his or her lifetime, the member appoints in writing the principal beneficiary who shall receive all remaining outstanding benefits under the said plan in the event of his or her death. Okay? So, may lilipat lang po yan kung na i, uh, kung baga parang nasa will po yan, no? nasa will, uh, last will and testament yan. Kung baga, yun yung kailangan natin gawin. Okay, para matransfer po natin yun. However, the Kaiser Ultimate Health Builder Plan itself cannot be sold. Take note of that. Cannot be sold, assigned, or transferred to any third party nor payment of membership fee be assumed by said third party. So, hindi po natin pwedeng ibenta to. So what are the benefits that can be received by the principal beneficiary? Ano po bang pwedeng niya matanggap? Number one, yearly, yearly health care benefit value, long-term care benefit value, long-term care, long-term health care experience incentive, additional health care hospital benefit limit, provided that investment earnings of the company is higher than 6% per annum. Okay. Ayan, paano naman tong upgrading of plan? Okay? So, plan can be upgraded within 30 days after its effectivity date. Okay? So, paano naman yan, no? So, upgrading natin. So, filled out amendment form, payment of processing fee of 300 pesos. Okay? Payment of additional installment corresponding to the updated plan. Okay? So, yun po yung ano natin. So, at least within 30 days after its effectivity date. But how about upgrading mode of payment? Ayan. So, mode of payment can be upgraded anytime after completion of, the, of its respective cycle. So, as, still within 30 days after purchase. So, filled out amendment form. So, payment of additional installment due to corresponding to the amount of the updated mode of payment. So, if beyond 30 days after purchase, so filled out amendment form, yun po ulit yung uh, nagawin natin. So, payment of processing fee of 300 pesos and then computation of dues based on the desired mode of payment. So, kailangan magkaroon din po ng computation yan. But take note, downgrading of plan and mode of payment is not allowed. Say, for example, kung K100 yung inyong plan, hindi nyo po, po pwedeng i-downgrade yan. Okay? So, uh, hindi nyo rin po po pwedeng, uh, kumbaga, yung mode of payment at saka yung planning nyo. Hindi nyo po po pwedeng i-downgrade yan. At least you should have uh, upgrading lang po tayo. Okay, so how about the age eligibility? So, uh, ayan po, no? So, pwede po makover from the age 10, okay? 10 years old hanggang 40 years old, pwede po makakuha ng Kaiser. And the lowest plan, po pwede, po pwede po makuha yan, is the K45. Okay? So, uh, K45, if I'm not mistaken, that is uh, 2647 per month. But still, you can check uh, kung magkano yan. 41 to 50 years old, that will be K60. Okay? Yan po yung ano natin. So, I think monthly will be around 3,529 3, pesos per month. And then for 51 to 60 years old, that's K75, okay? Minimum, at least 4,412 per month. So, yan po yung ating, uh, yung age eligibility po natin. Okay, so review lang po ulit tayo. So, of course, as we know, Solid Financial Foundation, of course, we know that Kaiser answers three major financial needs during our productive years and retirement years, diba? So as you can see, your healthcare fund natin, at least beyond age 60, 
life insurance for 20 years or even up to 75 years, and then investment po na at least nag-earn ng 10% per annum. Diba? Napakaganda po nung uh, ating uh, Kaiser uh, Ultimate Health Builder. So I hope like everyone uh, will be having this kasi napakaganda po ng uh, plan na to. Even me talagang ako ay talaga ito po yung talagang sinimulan ko. Kumbaga from from the very beginning ito talaga yung sinimulan ko ng uh, plan kasi uh, from that time medyo hirap pa ako mag-save but diba? So kumbaga it, it is our first step para mas ma ma magawa natin, magawa natin yung solid financial foundation natin. And that's it. That's it. That's the end of our uh, slide. That's the end of our training. I hope you learned something. Okay? I hope you learned something. I hope you, you uh, meron kayong bago na tutunan. And I hope ma, kung sino man po ang mga new attendees dito, sana po makakuha na po kayo ng uh, inyong Kaiser Health Plan. And yeah, that, uh, that ends our training. So again, this is Luis Anthony Antonio. You can also call me Coach Aries. And I'm proud to be part of International Marketing Group. Maraming maraming salamat po.